Hi, my name is Jeff Goodman with GE Aviation's Customer Technical Education Center. And I'm here today to talk about the removal and installation of the unstaged primary main fuel manifold of the GE NX engine. For clarity in this video, we're going to remove the HPT active clearance control manifold. This is not necessary to do the work. Again, it's just for clarity in the video. With the safety wire removed from the five B nuts, we can now separate the B nuts, starting with the fuel manifold B nut. Now we're going to loosen the four B nuts of the fuel lines going to the four fuel nozzles. This is going to be the long leg of the fuel nozzle. So we start loosening them. and disconnecting them from the fuel nozzles. Remove the bolts of the four cushion clamps on the manifold and remove the cushion clamps. Now with the five B nuts disconnected and the four cushion clamps, we can now remove the fuel manifold. Working it, twisting it to get out from underneath the other fuel manifolds and working our way up toward the top of the engine and removing it. Be sure to remove and discard the preformed packings from each of the four fuel nozzles. Before installing the new fuel manifold, we need to apply assembly lubrication and grease to each of the four B nut flanges that will make contact. And now, with the preformed packing properly pre lubricated, we can install it onto the fuel manifold. With the preformed packings properly lubricated, let's reinstall them onto our four fuel nozzles. Now to install the new fuel manifold. And into position. Onto the fuel nozzles and start our B nuts. With the bolts properly lubricated, we can now reposition 
our clamps back and get the bolt started at this time. We're ready to torque the bee nuts. We're going to start with the lowest one on the left hand side of the engine and work our way up. We need to triple torque these bee nuts since they're new because of the new manifold. As we torque them, the threads can stretch a little bit, so we are going to we'll torque to the initial torque. We will then go back and break the torque on each one of the four V-nuts. Then starting from the bottom, we again will torque each of the bee nuts as we work our way up to the specified value. And then the third and final check is just to go back and apply the same final torque one more time. Again, starting at the bottom, working our way up. Now, of course, remember to re-safety wire the four B nuts to the fuel nozzles. Torque the fuel manifold B nut three times. Here's the first time. Now we're going to break it loose. And now, finally, a third time, we apply the final torque again. Now be sure and safety wire the five B-nuts. Now torque the four bolts to their specification. Thanks for watching this video on the removal and installation of the unstaged primary main fuel manifold of the GENX. See you next time.